Well, how about taking down these guys? 10th ranked Boise State. But it won't be easy. An ornery bunch of Broncos come to town tonight trying to bounce back from a tough loss at home last weekend. Finest city, San Diego, California. In high definition by LG, we have one heck of a matchup for you on CBS Sports Network. It's the 10th ranked Boise State Broncos in town to take on the San Diego State Aztecs. Here we go. Let's go! And Brandon Davis takes it off the bounce, and then he is bounced around. Drop having some fun on the field at Q. Very loose, this team coming off a loss. So here's a big third down on the opening drive for Lindley. A joker look from the defense. Picked up in time, and it's picked up. Intercepted by Shea McClellan. Mr. Do-It-All for the Bronco defense. Third play of the night is a pick. Well, defensive coordinator Pete Kwiatkowski take Bought it at the five-yard line, so a second down and goal from right there. And the lefty lobs one up for Shoemaker. Wow! Perfectly thrown football and the 12th touchdown catch of the season for the senior. In this Boise offense. Five wide receivers for Moore and a wide receiver screen. They get it out there to Shoe again. Who else? Tyler Shoemaker. Because that's what hurt them last week against TCU. A safe look for the Aztecs. And here is that cornerback that you mentioned. The other senior, and he drops it. Ball on the ground. Leon McFadden can't hold on to it. Broncos have it inside the 10. Second turnover of the night. Josh Boardman. That's what you need to be able to do is come up and get some more plays from your playmakers like that. Interesting look here. And the quarterback is Potter. Hands up to Burroughs. Mitch Burroughs untouched, unprepared for that look, perhaps. The guy's wearing the black uniforms. Let's try and get some rhythm going and hold on to the football. Trevor Harmon boots it away. And here comes Davis again, this time from his six-yard line. And timidly gets across the 20-yard line. Did he drop it again? Yes. Boise State has the football back. It's hard to tell who had the, the loss last week with the way the San Diego State is playing. You need to cover that ball up with both hands. It looked like he was down, James, and that ball popped out afterwards. Now it starts to come out before he goes down. The lefty Moore back at the quarterback position. Lobs it up to the other corner, but same target. Touchdown number two for Tyler Shoemaker. Another fade route from fellow senior. Kellen Moore. He's throwing it low. And when you lose guys like Vincent Brown and DeMarco Sampson, that's very tough on a quarterback as well. Third down one, and look at him go. Hey, 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 Adam Moreba. Can he get there? He's tightening up yet. First <laughs> career touchdown from 81 yards out. That'll fire him up in the queue. He leads to the next level. There's another third down. No pressure at all for Moore. He's got a receiver running free. And Burroughs had to come back for it. Had so much cushion, though. It didn't matter. First down, knocking at the door. He made his third career start tonight. Five-man rush. Moore has the time. He has the receiver. And he has the touchdown. Kyle Efall this time, the big tight end. Multiple bunch sets to be able to test your eye discipline on defense. 
Play action pass, and it's knocked to Hillman one more time. They go way up top for Luckett. Yes! Lindley hits Luckett. They Hightower burned his red shirt a few games ago against Colorado State. And again to the air. And again, a big old pickup. This one results in six. Gavin Escobar. on that last series and came up short. Aztec show blitz, but back out of it. Oh, no, going for the pick. And it's a first down. Larry Parker makes the wrong. Time. Testing him, he's going to be a guy that makes you pay. Yeah, you keep testing the accuracy of Moore, and he will make you pay. And Kyle, baby. Just get, get in the film. Just get in the film. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Moore standing strong in the pocket. Lobs one out there to Efa. First and goal now from the 10. Again to Martin, trying to get the edge. Look at Matt Miller block. Matt Miller held his block the entire length of the play. The freshman. So here goes Moore. We'll get to see the two-minute drill. Four nine, tackling fuel. So here's a second down and 10 now for Moore. Wow, how about that? And out of bounds. 104 left here in the first half. Look at Moore stand in there. Strong, and speaking of strong, going up. Tyler Shoemaker. Good behind Shoemaker, but who had run a good route and got himself open. Lobs that one for Shoe. Oh, yeah. The hat trick. Tyler Shoemaker. Touchdown. How about that for a two minute drill? Pro style NFL system and with Kellen Moore smarts. My guess is that that answer is yes. First catch for baby brother. Kirby Moore keeps on fighting. Leg strength wise, that he's just young and a freshman. But they felt very good about this young man's upside and didn't hold what happened last week against him. And gives up only the seventh sack. For the Broncos this year. Blitz again there, A.T. First catch of the night for Boldervine. Kellen Moore has just connected with his 11th receiver of the night. Finally get into a rhythm offensively on the ground. Ball on the ground. Doug Martin fumbles it. San Diego State recovers. Just the 11th turnover this season for the Broncos. Of Samson and Young, like they did, it makes it tough. Yep. Brown, rather. There's a nice looking throw. And as we tried to bring you back here, so here's Ryan Lindley. This is, of course, after the big 15 yard personal foul penalty. Escobar refusing to go down, makes two guys miss and runs right through him into the paint. Than a, a typical true freshman. Here's a third down now for Moore and the Broncos. Plenty of time, almost picked, and now it is off the hands of Burris and right into the midst of Larry Parker. So after that timeout, here goes the red shirt freshman, and he gets in for the second time tonight. Broncos thought they had a strip that's going the other way was Tevis. Got it. Gavin Escobar has two touchdowns on the night. Now he has a two-point conversion. I just right. Here we go. Got woo. A nice high hop, Mitch Burroughs. Big time utility guy. They helped him off to the sideline. So here's Doug Martin trying to get outside. Look at him go airborne. Makes the guy miss and turns on the Jets. Dougie Fresh, touchdown number two. Which was a shame. 77 73. The final in overtime for Coach Fish and the gutty little Aztecs today. There's 18 after the penalty is stepped off. Again, Colin Rocket. They try to get out of bounds. And Watching him play over the years, great alley field player. 
Makes all the calls back there. Good heads up football player touchdown. <laughs> Two hat tricks. Go State, or excuse me, rather the four previous coaches. But you got to take your hat off to Boise State, who bounced back from a devastating loss last week and on the road against a good offensive team and a good defensive team found a way to win. As do the rest of these seniors in their career at Boise State. Will they bounce back? I'll say they'll bounce back in a big way in all three phases of the football game. The number 10 Boise State Broncos winners here on San Diego State's Montezuma Mesa tonight. For Aaron Taylor and Brooke Collins and our entire crew, I'm James Bates. For scores, highlights, features, and more, go to cbssports.com. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network. You stay classy, San Diego.